There are two different types of data structures. The first is static and the second is dynamic. Static data structures do not change in size when a program is running. You have to declare the size before you use it. An example of this is an array. But dynamic data structures can increase and decrease in size when a program is running. An example of this is a tree. These differences mean both have some advantages and disadvantages. The advantages of a static data structure are that the compiler can allocate space, they are easy to program, it is easy to check for overflow, and an array allows random access. The disadvantages are that the programmer has to estimate the maximum amount of space that is going to be needed, and this means that space will be wasted more often than not as you will overestimate the size. The advantages of a dy dynamic structure are that they only use space in memory that they need at that time, and this makes efficient use of their memory. The disadvantages of this are that they are difficult to program, searching through data can be slow, and a linked list only allows serial access. Here is an example of a pass fail question to do with this topic. If you pause now, you can write down your answer, as the answers will appear in a few seconds. Here is another example of a past paper question. Again, you can pause and write down your answers as the answers will appear in a few seconds.